Right, first of all, need to load up Nitrado um, on their website. So you should have your login details ready if you've already bought a server or have, a, have access to someone else's. Click on their main website. Um, you should get an option to log in just here where my name is. And you click on that and it'll drop down option and you should be able to log in. And then you have these options. Click My Services. And these will be your websites you can use. Not your websites, this will be your servers you can use. You've got three here, one, two, three. You'll only have one if you've bought one. You click on the little cog icon here to edit it. Load up. And then this is all your server stuff. You can stop the server, restart the server, etc, etc. Um, and what you'll need to do, if you haven't already, is go into general settings. bit of a slow website this one you need to enable expert mode so make sure that has a blue tick in it and then push save changes with the green save changes at the bottom once that's done you can have access to the uh, where you add in the additional mods down here um, okay so yeah so when you first log into Nitrado you'll see the, uh, the dashboard page which is this one here if you scroll down to the bottom of this page you'll have some FTP credentials and what we will need is this information today because we need to actually use an FTP server to upload the mods. It's just a lot easier than using the file browser. It's a lot quicker, so I highly recommend this. So what we need to do is we need to download an FTP client. And I personally like to use WinFTP. So if you open up a new tab, just Google WinFTP first one on the list usually um, actually it's not this time around so make sure you have um, winscp.net and then you can always click the download option that appears straight away and you click download I think it takes you to another window but yeah it, it, it will download straight away what you've got to do is click click run so if I download it again for you there you go look take you to this page and it'll start downloading here and then once that's done You click, click on it and click yes because you want to install it and all you've got to do is push accept and next and next and next just all the default options and that'll be fine and once that's installed you can close that web page down keep your Nitrado page up because we'll need that at some point with this information um, you should have a desktop icon, icon of WinSCP which is this one here so if we uh, Double click on that to open it up. Right, here we go. What you'll have on this page is this here. Just new site. These three won't be here. These are my these are the servers I currently uh, maintain. So you've got just new sites and all this information here. Now what, what we'll need to do is get the information here from the Nitrado and put it in here. So it's an FTP, so we click on the file protocol and change it to FTP. And there's no encryption, so you don't need to worry about that. Now, hostname here, we've got hostname here. And this little clipboard icon next to hostname is a nice and easy way to copy it. So you just click on that and then right click, paste into here. You can do the same with all the rest of them. The port is the same, so you don't need to worry about that. Copy across the username and the password. So nobody can see your password at all, it's all private, you just copy that and you don't ever see it, which is handy, it means nobody can uh, hack your server or anything like that. And then what I like to do is save this information, um, create a desktop icon with it, and I save the password. If you've got a nice secure computer, you can save the password, if not, um, as you can see, it's not recommended. Um, so you just got to put that password in every time if you don't save it. And call it whatever you want. My server and okay so there we go let's save the login information and what this will mean is you have a desktop icon there you go look my server just there if you double click on that it'll take you straight in and log you straight in so if i push login now double clicking on that icon will take you to here or an equivalent anyway right this here is the uh, root folder for your server and you can if you need to upload files here without it affecting the server at all and if you go into here 
this is this should be all your root files here these ones here these one two three four five with the app next to them these are mods that I've already put into my server so these won't be here for you if you haven't uploaded any right what you'll uh, want to do next is uh, subscribe to some mods so best way to do that if you haven't already subscribed to them if you've been playing in servers and things you'll have some already but say you want to get a new mod so let's go to the daisy workshop page there we go and all we've got to do is search for the mod that you want so let's say we want to try and install the uh, Land Rover mod let's search for Land Rover uh, let's get the Land Rover Defender I like this one okay so here we go got all the information here this is the, the description of it with all the pictures um, it's got lots of information here that you can use. Um, there's discussions, comments, which you can quite often find information you need to install the mods. And change notes, which tells you exactly when the mods update. So it's, it's kind of handy. So on the description page, what you need to do is click this button here, and it will subscribe you to the, uh, to the mod. And you need to make sure that you're logged in as well, so log in. Um, and yeah, once you've subscribed, you can close this page, and you should make sure that you open the Daisy Launcher, and it'll check for updates. Just you know, see a little sign saying "Check for updates," and it may download your new mod if it hasn't already. And once it's done that, you can close that. Okay, that's the mod you want to install on the server, downloaded to your computer. So now what you've got to do is find that mod. And that's actually more difficult than you might think it will be. So open up a file browser, Windows Explorer or File Explorer as they've got in Windows 10. Um, and the default location for your DAISY folder is on, uh, if you go with this PC, that'll be your C drive, most likely. Wherever your DAISY for your Steam folder is, is located, basically. For me, it's here, and then Steam. And you want to go Steam Apps, Common. And your normal Daisy folder, not Daisy server, your normal Daisy folder. Now, that's where your workshop folder is. If you can't see it, you need to um, make your hidden folders visible. To do that, you go into View, Options, and then you go into View in this folder options. And then here you can see it says Hidden Files and Folders, and you've got to show hidden files and folders and drives. I click Apply, and then OK and that should appear. If you go in this folder, these are all the mods that I have installed and there's quite a few of them. Um, you've got to find your mod that you just down, wanted to download and get and this was the Land Rover mod. So you can search in there to, to search for it but I already know where it is. So that's the one we want. So first thing to do would be to drag this into your new server. Now make sure you don't drag it onto a folder or it'll put it in that folder. Just drag it into any other space here and that'll, that'll be fine. And that'll take a little while to upload depending on the speed of your internet. My upload speed is um, I can manage about 2.2 megabytes per second which isn't too bad but it's not the best. Um, but it's certainly slower than, uh, than some, of the, some of the speeds I've seen you guys have anyway. So that'll take a while, um, but once it's done, we'll move on to the next step. Okay, that's, uh, that's just finished. So now we have your workshop folder here and your server here. As you can see, we've just uploaded the Land Rover Defender folder. Um, so if we go into this Land Rover Defender folder, this is the next step of setting up the mods for your server. You need to copy across the keys, so they'll be in the keys folder inside the mod. So right click, copy, and then if we push on this folder here, this is actually means that you go back a folder. So if we click that, we'll go back, and click it again, we'll go back. This takes you back to here. We need to go into the server's keys folder and just copy it into there. You'll only have Daisy in there. I've uh, I've copied in some of the ones from the mods I have already. 
So copy and paste it into here. And then click OK. And there we go. We've got that in there. Um, so yeah, if um, yeah, now what you'll need to do is go back to the Nitrado server and go to general settings. And here we've got to scroll down near the bottom and here you can see I've already installed some mods. So if it's the first mod you're installing, all you need to do is put at and then the mod name. So the best way for me to do this really is, or for you to do this as well, is to find your mod in your uh, WinSCP, right click, rename, and then just hit control C without hitting anything else first. And that will copy the name exactly. And then click off to make sure you don't change the name. If we come back to the server, all you then have to do, if it's the first mod you're doing, is hit control V and it'll copy it in exactly. There you go, look, it's exactly the same. It needs to be worded exactly the same as in here. Um, but seeing as it's not the first mod, I'll put it at the end, you need to put a semicolon first to separate it from the previous mod and then just hit Control V and that's in there. And once you've done that, hit Save Changes and that'll tell the server that you want to load this mod from your server root folder, which is here. So once you've done that, hit Save Changes. Uh, for the next bit, what you'll want to do is stop the server. So I suppose you can do this. You kind of have to do this in the Charger Web Info Interface anyway. You'll hit the Stop Server after you save this. It'll take you back up here. It'll take a few seconds. And then, yep. So once the server is stopped, you want to go um, back into your WinSCP. And I also like to use the workshop folder for this because it makes things a little less complicated. So the mod you've uploaded, if you find that folder, go into it, there'll sometimes be an XMLs folder. So you'll open up that XMLs folder and here we have lots of strange looking folders. Sorry, strange looking files. They're all XML files. What you've got to do is find the equivalent files in your current mission in your in your server. Now I'll show you where that is. So here's the server root folder and here's the multiplayer missions, MP missions. So we go into here and find the mission file that you're currently using. Now if it's just a normal vanilla uh, server you'll be using Chernerus Plus. So I'll double click on Chernerus Plus, go into there and the majority of the files in each of the missions are the same. So you'll have all these ones here. And we've got to find event spawns, CFG spawnable types, events, and types. Because all this information needs to go into these files so that they'll be configured properly with the server. Um, yeah. So what we've got to do is search the list. There we go. Look, spawnable types. And just open that up and these XML files can be opened up with notepad so we'll open up spawnable types which is the one we've just opened in the server you can right click on it and push edit and it'll open up your notepad I like to use notepad plus plus but for this tutorial I'll use notepad because it's the same as what you'll be using more than likely and then in these folders you need to be in these files you need to be very careful because quite often what the server owner does is he puts a load of uh, so the mod owner does is they put a load of rubbish at the top of here um, like um, quite often put types and uh, different words and things at the top you just need to make sure that you copy where it says type make sure there's no s at the end of that or anything like that and that'll, uh, that'll be the correct bit to copy so you highlight all that information drag down and then make sure you end with forward slash type Sometimes again there'll be a forward slash types underneath that. You don't want to copy that across because that'll corrupt your uh, current files. You don't want that. So copy them across. And what you want to do really is scroll right the way to the bottom because I always put mods, new mods, 
things for the server right at the bottom and you want to put it just before your forward slash spawnable types that's the that's pretty much the end of your document so control V or right click paste and there you go and you've pasted all this in this in here and just scroll up to make sure it's okay it says slander of defender defender yeah there we go um, that's where we put it yep all the information is correct and then you save it up in the top left and you want to close both of these and now we've got to do the same for each of the other files so event spawns so open that up and same with this one and now this is all about the coordinates for where the potential land rover spawns will spawn in copy that information scroll down to the bottom of your current document so just before event post def with that forward slash there control b there we go yeah that's ended with the correct event there and started with the event there save that close both of these i'll just do it a bit quicker now um so the events and types there are two that are more regularly edited and these are in the db folder just here so you go into there and then what you want to do is same as before copy these across oh i opened it in the wrong thing copy these across so copy all that the types are one of the most important things to make you be able to spawn items in and the types is probably the file that is edited the most regularly so it's got loads of information in so you've got type here and types there so I'll put it just before that control b yeah looks good and there's there's quite a bit of information there um, so save that close both of these and the same for events as well there's only one event to spawn the land rover in and it's got the three different types of land rover there let's copy that scroll to the bottom just before events make a new space pop it in there there we go now that should be your mod installed so let's just run over it one more time so we've uh, gone on to Nitrado, put it into expert mode um, uh, downloaded WinSCP so for the server and with WinSCP we can log into the server um, and view it basically view all the files and copy stuff across we need to go to daisy workshop subscribe to the mod um, I find your workshop folder um, and then drag the file across from the workshop folder which is this one we dragged across earlier and um, that's uploaded your files to here and then you need to make sure that you put your keys across so copy from here into the keys folder and um, make sure you now do your types and it's easiest to do your types with having your workshop folder next to it so go into your workshop folder 86 steam steam apps common daisy workshop find the mod which is the uh, land rover and we want your xmls and we've got all of these what you don't want to do is replace the files that is not what you want to do because that'll, that'll also ruin your files um, so event spawns and event spawns etc etc you get the picture just copy them across yeah so that should be your mod in the stores and that's one of the more advanced mods because um, it has lots more XML stuff to install there are some that are even more advanced than that but um, most of the ones that you're going to want to install are okay um, yeah so if you've got any questions i'll leave a link to septic falcons discord server in the description you can probably catch me on there if you need some help with anything uh, yeah cheers